On this video, it shows you step by step on how to repaste, how to change the thermal pads and thickness of the thermal pads, how to replace and clean the cooling fans. Hello guys, it's another video. It's me, Take That Screw Out. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing and click that thumbs up icon and notification bell. Check the description down below for the equipment and tools I've used in this video, which is available to purchase on Amazon.com in United States and Amazon.co.uk in United Kingdom. This unit, what I'm gonna do today is a brand new. So before I'm gonna, we're gonna start the tutorial, we're gonna do a quick unboxing. So this one is still sealed and the other side. So what's included is the is the sticker, is a sticker or something, and then quick start guide, warranty card. So what's inside in this car, like the thermal pads and thermal paste is still stuck from the factory. What you're gonna see, thickness of the thermal pad is the original one from the manufacturer. So we already finished the quick uh, unboxing, so let's begin the tutorial. Before we start, the screwdriver I'm going to use is the wow stick electric screwdriver. And the screw bits I'm going to use on this video is the Phillips screw of VH1 and this um, long screwdriver is equivalent to VH1 as well. This card is brand new so you can see still sealed from the manufacturer. So all the stuff inside you will see is all stuck from factory. So let's begin. Here's the two option. If you just want to, to remove the fan or just clean the fan but you don't need to repaste or change the thermal pads and change the thermal paste so to clean or remove the fan you have to unscrew one two three four five six seven and eight you don't need to remove this four screw here only this two this one one two three four five six seven eight and then if you need to disassemble everything to repaste change the thermal pads clean all the fans what you're gonna do is to remove the screw one two three four five six seven eight and then this four screw that attached to the heatsink and to the gpu die so what i'm gonna do first is to show you how to remove just the fan or clean the fan so always pay attention with the screw because some screw are not the same some are short some are long So this screw, this screw here is quite longer compared to the other three that I already removed. So this one is quite long compared to the other three. So they are short, so, so you should pay attention with that. So this one is short, same with the other three. And the other one, this one here is short as well only one long screw just this one here so you can lift up the back plate the back plate is made of metal so it can help to dissipate the heat at the back so now the six screws already been removed so you have to unscrew as well these two here so you need to remove the the wire connector of the fan so you have to be careful to remove the this fan connector you don't need any tools you just press and hold this one press this one this area here and press and pull it out 
but be careful you're not gonna damage the wire see just just like that so this this two fan is linked together into a one wire to remove the fan you have to unscrew four screw in each fan I will show you what is the model and part number of this fan so we only remove one side of the fan just to show you So when removing this sticker, be gentle with it because make sure it's still intact and you can still put it back because this is this will help the vibration of the fan. So this is the part number. So these two fan are identical. This is the first one that I've shown you earlier and this is the second one, exactly the same model number. So they are identical except for the connector. So they both connected with the link which is female and male connector which is on down here which is connected to one wire goes to the PCB. So if you need to replace they are identical but only the connector is different male and female connector. So we have to remove the other fans. So this one here on the left, left fan has the male connector. I'll show you. So when you remove this one, so this one here. So this one has the male connector and this one is a, had a female connector. So if you if you replace the fan, the one on the left has the male connector and the connector the main connector that goes to the PCB and the one on the right has the the female Okay, so have to put that one aside. To remove the heatsink from the PCB to replace the thermal pads and repaste, all you're gonna do is to remove six screw. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have to break the seal. And now you can carefully detach the heatsink from the PCB. So this is the inside the PCB and the heatsink. So for the thickness of the thermal pads, the tools that I'm using is uh, Vernier Digital Caliper. So I'll put the link in the description below if you're interested to buy one of these or any caliper you can use so for the VRAM this is the VRAM for these four chips here so the VRAM is 0.75 millimeter and also these MOSFETs here this three is exactly the same thickness with the VRAM. So the VRAM and the four three MOSFETs have the same thickness 0.75 but this small small chips here this black one and this side here have a thicker thickness. So I have to measure that one for you. This one here, this one has one millimeter thickness and also this one here are exactly the same, it's a bit thicker. 
so it's one millimeter this side here this one and this one that goes here has one millimeter and the VRAM and these three MOSFETs has 0.75 millimeter so it's thinner and thicker this one so to clean the thermal paste always use 99.9% uh, .9 of isopropyl alcohol never use a 70% 70% alcohol because it doesn't dissipate quickly so 99.9% .9 is recommended for cleaning the thermal paste or if you want to clean the PCB of your PC so the thermal pads on this GPU I don't need to replace because they are brand new and still very fresh and in good condition so the thermal paste I'm going to use for this video is the SYY thermal paste which is a high performance which is really good and also I have a other recommendation for other brand which is the Noctua NTH2 or the Arctic MX6 so when putting a thermal paste you just put not too much just an ample amount enough to spread in the dye so that should be enough so it's time to put it back together if you just wonder why there is no thermal pads on this area here it's on this on the heat sink sticking with the heat sink so it's in there so make sure when you when you attach both of this you have to make sure this four screw is the very important that it aligns here Make sure it aligns properly and then carefully screw it in. I'm gonna use this one, not the electric screwdriver. So when you screwed in a GPU or CPU chip, you have to do the crisscross pattern. So that one first and the other next one would be the one opposite. And you have to do it gradually. And now they're in place you have to tighten them one turn at a time one and then one here So this two screw, so this two screw will go here. Okay, so put this one aside. We'll do the fan. So have to replace the the tape that holds this one. So when you screwed in the plastic, just snug fit, Not, don't over tighten it because plastic will damage easily. Fun is done. So next is 
to merge these two. Don't forget the fan. So that goes there. So you have to connect the fan connector first before you screw it in. Just gently push it in. Just push it in gently and it clicks. So that clicks. So that's it. So make sure all the holes are aligned properly before you put the screw in. So I have to put this two screw in the side first on a bracket. tight enough so the last one put it back the back plate so don't forget the this one here is a longer screw and the rest are the same length so I will use the electric screwdriver So what I'm going to do is more easier to make a balance when I start here. Next one would be here. Crisscross pattern. So next one. So the longer screw. Goes here. Make sure it's snug fit. Okay, so you have to check all the holes and all the screw is back. So it looks okay. And then you have to test the fan, the rotation of the fan. It makes sure it doesn't catch it. It spins freely. So it looks good. So that's the end of the tutorial. If you did enjoy and find this video helpful, please consider subscribing, share the video so it could help others too, and click thumbs up icon to help this channel to make more helpful tutorial videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching.